I'm going to show you how to export out your uh, ZBrush uh, character or your grasshopper. And I might do uh, several of these. And so we're going to do them uh, obviously at a very high level and then a very low level. All right, so I'm just holding a D to go all the way up to uh, seven, which is really high. And then shift D to go all the way down to uh, my lowest subdivision. All right, so I'm going to do two uh, uh, subdivisions, uh, low and then also uh, one a little bit higher. So right now we're at 1,300 polygons, which is super light, right? I think it's um, less than a quarter of a megabyte, so tiny, tiny. So we're going to go up to this uh, tool set. Again, uh, should have at very, very beginning done a UV uh, mapping, uh, so this will all work. So when we add textures, we can actually paint and uh, make a normal map and all that. All right, so we want to export this out. And I have been testing around, so I'm going to go back to my ZBrush and I'm going to put this in my ZBrush and Grasshopper ZBrush and I'm going to call it uh, Final Build. You can call it whatever you want, but just try to organize it so you know where it's going. Uh, final Build. And I've got it on OBJ. Uh, you can do FBX, but I think you want to do OBJ because we want to bake on um, a high OBJ. All right, so this is our low. So I'm going to type in low and underscore low again. So this is a very, very low polygon. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. All right, and now I'm going to hit D. I'm going to go up to 5,472. All right, so if we look, if we did have to rig this it wouldn't be the end of the world. It's, it's a pretty good uh, loops here. And I think we can do that pretty well. All right, so I'm going to export this out also. And instead of low, low, I'm just going to call it low. Okay, and I'm going to show you what this looks like in uh, Substance when we bake out our texture maps. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit Save, and hopefully that exported out correctly. And I'm going to go up to D and go up to uh, subdivision seven. So we are at 5.6 million polygons. I'm actually writing that down because that's a lot of data. So 5.6 million polygons. There's no way in heck that you could open that up in Maya or even render that out in a, a regular scene. That's a lot of data. But uh, Unreal Game Engine can uh, now do up to a billion polygons in one scene in real time with global illumination. So uh, I may be telling you a fib, but anyways, uh, we can see our product here and we want to go ahead and export this as high. All right, so that's just, uh, just indicating that it's a high polygon. And again, OBJ, hit save. And this one's going to take a little bit of time. I'm not going to lie. So you can see up here, you should be able to see uh, your timeline here and it's a pretty accurate timeline sometimes uh, has a hard time uh, adjusting and reading it so uh, if you get bored you can kind of scrub forward I think it's going to take about a minute exactly but I'd like to show you every step of the way so uh, we got about 30 more seconds hopefully you can hear me I'm talking loud enough All right, so meanwhile, I'm not gonna do anything, but we wanna get into Substance Painter. We were waiting. Again, it's doing a lot of calculations. Your computer may be faster or slower than mine, and so a lot of you have uh, stopped at subdivision six and not seven, so this process may be faster. All right, we are uh, done, and I guess it's writing an OBJ. I guess we're not all the way done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Painter, and uh, can kind of see the results that I've done before uh, with the low low. But I'm going to show you how to do this and what we're uh, looking at. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to New, and uh, this is a new project. And I'm going to go ahead and set it up for 4K, so 496. Uh, 
again, when you export out, you and also you can always adjust this down the road. Uh, I always set it up now because I, I remember to do it. Uh, we're also going to select our object. And we're going to go to my ZBrush uh, folder, and I think we did a final build. And we did a low, low, and also a low. And so I'm clicking on this, and I'm showing you that this object is 140 kilobyte. That is tiny. It's less than a tenth, almost a tenth of a megabyte. All right, we're not talking about gigabytes. We're talking about kilobytes, all right? And then this one is 574 kilobytes, not even a megabyte, all right? So again, that was 1,369 polygons. Very, very small, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit open and bring that in. Okay, I'm not gonna save this old file. Again, remember when we went into edge and we hit relax, and so we wanted to relax our geometry. So when you bring in the ZBrush and also into a game engine, you can see it's already smooth. It doesn't have that faceted polygon look that we don't want. We want it nice and smooth. Now, if you were doing a chair or something like a cube, you would want the hard edges on there. But since this is a organic form, we wanted uh, that edge to be soft, all right? So there's all kinds of ways to model this. And again, baby steps when we're doing this. All right, so I'm gonna go back to uh, ZBrush, make sure it's done. I think our OBJ is done. So over here on our texture set settings, and if you don't see that, it's probably over here. You need to click it and uh, bring up that dialog box. So uh, there's a lot of stuff on here. Again, you guys have some awesome computers where you can put this, these different texture settings on a different screen and whatnot. So I'm going to go uh, scroll down here in my texture set settings where it says bake mesh maps. This is the first thing that you would do anyways if you were gonna to start to texture an object. This is uh, kind of going over what we did with the dumpster, which you probably have already forgotten because we've gone through Maya ZBrush and now we're going back to this. So uh, that was what, four weeks ago or two weeks ago. So it's basically going through these pipelines, learning them, and then hopefully they will stick. So we're gonna do a high definition mesh. And also we wanna set this to 4K. We could set it to 8K, which probably Unreal can handle, but we're just gonna do 4K for now. That's pretty huge, that's a large file. So if we export these out, they could be up to 200 to 400 megabytes per uh, map and these are the maps that we are creating so imagine five maps times 500 uh, that's a lot of data all right i'm going to go ahead and leave everything at default because it was working these are distances that these can bleed through i'm not going to go through too much of it but uh, this can be helpful when you're uh, working on baking out a map so we're gonna to go to our high definition mesh. That was that high polygon one that was set at seven divisions. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my high. So we were going from what, 150 kilobyte to now 713 megabytes for this. And so this is in the 5.7, 5.6 million polygons. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And I'm gonna leave everything at default. The only thing I changed was from uh, 512 to 4K. All right, so we're gonna hit bake, select the textures. I'm gonna pull this off to the side and you're gonna see in real time what it's doing. It's baking the normal map. And then next it's going to go to default mat, uh, mat world space normal. And so it's taken a little while here I may have to turn off the recording. It may be too much for this computer to do. Normally it was just pretty fast. I think it may have even died. All right, I think I am gonna stop the recording. Oh, no I'm not, I lied. Uh, but you can see, uh, that what it's doing. And you can just kind of see this error right here. And I'm not sure what's happening here. These could be adjusted uh, on, the, on the slider. Maybe this needs to go out a little bit further because we were doing a lot of sculpting out this uh, area. So the further that you go away from your original model, 
you may have some issues. Okay, we're almost done. All right, well, I hit okay, but look at that. That is pretty amazing. So we have a 5.6 million polygon model on a character that is literally 126 kilobyte, a tenth of a megabyte. And we have all this beautiful data on here on this model, just on these fake maps. So you can kind of see the trickery here, especially uh, back here. I know I pulled these way out. As I turn around, it looks like it's looking at us, but as I turn around, they flatten out. So that is the trick of normal maps. They look like it's real geometry, but as we bend around, these things flatten out. Even uh, the, the lumps in here, if, if we go to the side, you can see it flatten out. So a little bit of trickery using normal maps and world coordinates and all that to create our mesh. All right, pretty happy with that, but we could have gone in there and tried to figure out this, okay? But I actually want you guys to go up one more uh, stage or one more uh, piece of geometry and you saw it was only about 500 uh, kilobyte. So we're gonna do a new one. Again, 4K. I'm sorry, this is a long tutorial, but I do want you to wrap your head around what I'm doing. So I'm gonna not go low, low, which was the 140 kilobyte. I was saying 120 kilobyte earlier, but it's 140. I'm gonna go to the low. So it's a little bit more geometry for this uh, high level uh, object to stick to. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And hit okay. And I don't wanna save this scene, okay. And so this, Grasshopper has a little bit more uh, geometry. You can start to see some uh, geometry uh, bulging out and also the arm here is bulging out. So this is probably a little bit better to work with, maybe a little bit more problematic when we go into rigging it if we wanted to rig and animate this character, which I do want to kind of show you guys how easy that is. All right, again, we're going to go over to Bake Maps and turn this to 4K right off the bat. Again, all these are the maps that uh, Substance Painter is gonna kick out. So this is all read uh, by Unreal Game Engine. That's a really a uh, powerful product of that. So I keep everything at default, go in ahead and select my 720 megabyte file, hit open and bake textures. All right, I'll pull this off to the side. For some reason, it's going a lot faster. Okay, we see some real weird artifacting or creasing here. Uh, I think that's where uh, the UV map from UV Master happened. All right, it's going pretty quick. We're doing our curvature, our ambient inclusion, uh, default map position, and also our mat thickness. All right, we have no idea what all this means, but basically the, the game engine is deciphering where this is sitting in space. All right, so my hit okie dokie use my alt and kind of go around the surface. So this is a better bake. I think there's a little bit more definition in this one, the way it's sitting off the surface versus that first one. All right, I would not go up one more uh, level because we are trying to bring this into a game engine. But look at that, that is amazing. This is a half a megabyte uh, model with a really amazing high level detail uh, texture map on it. All right, again, we looks like those back hindquarters have all this definition, but at certain angles, it flattens out. But that is the trick of uh, normal mapping. All right, I'm gonna stop it here. I hope you guys get to this point, and then uh, we'll start uh, painting what I just did, and we're gonna start creating some uh, procedural textures and uh, start building up some grime and learning how to paint on the surface and also some decal work. So we're basically gonna add some of our uh, decal work on here. I'm about to die on my battery, so I'm gonna stop the conversation and upload this very long video. And good luck, guys.